We got a late upload for you guys today. Day three of New York Giants 2023 training camp coming right up. What is going on guys going on 27 squad welcome back into another video and today we're going to be talking about day three of the new york giants 2023 training camp and man i this is really really opt optimistic like this is really encouraging for the new york giants and the new york giants fans day three has been going absolutely great so far there are a couple of things that we have to talk about first and foremost if you guys are enjoying the video make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new helps the algorithm more than you guys know especially when it comes to youtube but that being said when we're talking about these position switches again as we are going to be doing in the beginning of these segments every day we're going to be talking about who's on the first team what kind of changes are being made and pretty much nothing has changed but the simple rotation of Bredesen back at center and um, and we have Josh Azudu back at left guard. So he comes up from the second team to play at the left guard position. And Bredesen moves from first team left guard to first team center. So he's been playing first team the entire way so far with JMS, the rookie, being moved back to the second team. This is not concerning whatsoever. It just seems like they're taking it a, a day by day sort of rotation and allowing everybody to get a chance to play with the first team now also we have a change at safety as well there's a position battle three different safeties for that number two safety spot we saw in the first week of uh, the first day of training camp we saw jason pinnock get that nod at, with the first team alongside xavier mckinney then in the second day we had dane belton the second year man out of iowa and we also now have bobby mccain the free agent pickup from Washington so well uh, there is a lot of competition there with that safety spot now Bobby McCain gets his day uh, at the second safety spot there wasn't anything else regarding Bobby McCain and how he performed but let's just perform they let's just hope that they all performed well now the big story to come out of this is Deontay Banks Deontay Banks has been getting picked on a lot so far in training camp and a lot of people are already seeming concerned about this as if he's supposed to be an all pro cornerback from the start just getting interceptions and batting passes and stuff like that this is what we want to see if you guys are a Giants fan you guys want to see Deontay Banks succeed you're gonna want Dayball just testing Deontay Banks because these are the times where you learn what not to do you learn what you're doing wrong so in a real game situation these type of things are going to be avoided now in last practice I believe it was the first play of practice that I saw in the article, Deontay Banks was tested deep. I don't know who the, the receiver was, but he defended the pass. That's good. And now they're going to keep going after Deontay Banks, and he got absolutely torched today. And that's okay. I'm okay with that. I am not concerned whatsoever. This is a rookie. This is someone who is not used to NFL speed yet, and you want this guy to learn from his mistakes, see what he's doing wrong. I want this to happen early in camp, so when we go towards the later stages of training camp where we're heading towards preseason games where we're facing other wide receivers who aren't our own he is going to know what to do in those situations and I want to see that I want to see Deontay Banks struggle so that he can succeed later on it's just a forging by fire sort of thing it's just throwing him into the fire and letting him learn that way is probably the best way to do it I don't like and I don't like any of the teams or any coaches just babying players and kind of coddling them because they're first round picks. I'm going to go after the guy. Now, as far as the offense goes, man, just to talk about them, this is the third straight day in a row where they're just great. They're just fantastic. Now, last practice, the defense stepped up. They had a number of interceptions and a couple of batted passes. You could say they won that day, but at the same time, the offense didn't look bad, especially our franchise quarterback Daniel Jones he was still on fire again this is the third straight day where he's just on the money according to Bobby Skinner seven on sevens he was six of six without targeting Waller Waller was not a part of any of those six attempts and six completions but when it came to the 11 on 11 drills he was 11 of 16 with Slayton and Darren Waller being the main two targets of the bunch I'm really loving the chemistry that Daniel Jones is having with Darren Waller I know a lot of people may sort of compare the fact or correlate the fact that Darren Waller is on the team he is dominating he is getting open and correlating the fact 
of Daniel Jones performing so well so far in training camp and Darren Waller being the main reason. And to that, I say, we do not care. I don't care if Darren Waller is the reason why Daniel Jones is absolutely dominating. I don't care because Darren Waller is a part of this team. And so long as he is a part of the starting lineup, I don't care if that causes Daniel Jones to be the only reason why he is doing well. I don't care. I want to see these two have camaraderie and have chemistry. And uh, I love the quotes that Darren Waller said and had to say about his relationship with Daniel Jones. We've got a few months under. Under our belt of staying in touch and just open dialogue, ego removed, Waller said before practice, we can tell each other what we're thinking, what we may want, things I've been comfortable doing and things I like doing and find a midpoint or be able to just learn about each other. I feel like it's paying off and just trying to keep going day by day and let the results take care of themselves. I just like his even keeled nature. First and foremost, he just has a calm spirit about him. It's not too high or too low. It's staying in the middle. I can tell by the way he's navigated so many adversities in the noise of his career that that's something he's focused on and it's paying dividends for him now. Yeah, I think it's a real testament to what Daniel Jones has overcome thus far in his career because of us Giants fans just egging him on and kind of critiquing him and every little point that he's done. He's really stayed, for lack of a better word, than what Darren Waller used, even keeled. Not too high, not too low, just stoic, in the middle. And just ready to work kind of doesn't let any of the any of the critiques any of the noise really bother him he just stays focused continues to work a very eli manning-esque trait about him and that's why that's why he's he's succeeding right now in new york despite his past failures Going from one rookie to another, we got to talk about Jalen Hyatt, the third round pick out of Tennessee, and he had probably the most productive day in a Giants uniform here in day three of training camp, where he was working with the ones and actually looking pretty damn decent, doing a lot of go routes and a lot of curl routes. It's something that he's very familiar with in his time in Tennessee. A lot of people, especially on Twitter, really think that, you know, that he didn't run vertical uh, that he didn't run like curl routes and those are still part of vertical routes those are vertical routes they, they, they go vertical and they just stop where they're at but at Tennessee he just didn't run a lot of in breaking routes that is the problem not not curl routes not comebacks those are something that he did a lot of the time at Tennessee probably more often than the go routes um but he did he did it very well it's something that he did in Tennessee and I'm okay with that I, I love what we're getting from Jalen Hyatt right now, he's had a couple of catches, including on Deontay Banks, where he got a win on him there on a, on a comeback route. So uh, Jalen Hyatt is doing pretty well working with the ones. Excited to see what he's going to be doing. An interesting storyline. We're getting some Evan Neal news here. Now, I didn't really think we're going to expect anything about Evan Neal until the pads come on. And I don't think that happens until maybe a couple of days from now, maybe around Tuesday. Evan Neal seems to be doing uh, very well. And we know that he did a lot of work in the offseason with former NFL lineman Willie Anderson, working on his stance, working on his punches and things like that. And it's really paying off dividends so far in training camp as Justin Panic and Bobby Skinner both said uh part of the talking giants podcast they said that his stance and just him uh out there looked a lot better than last year in his rookie year and he also had a lot of good reps versus Kayvon Thibodeau and Aziz Ojolari so that's a storyline we got to look at and keep our eye on Evan Neal seems like Bobby Skinner is doing just that he is an offensive lineman guy uh so I always trust his his commentary on that but Evan Neal is a real key part of this offensive success man the right tackle spot is a real real important one alongside the left tackle spot we know the left tackle spot is locked down with Andrew Thomas we have to work on that other outside spot and you know having him perform well having those two bookend tackles can solve a lot of problems and keep us focused on the interior if that if that needs any more improvement and should help Daniel Jones a lot. That is day three of New York Giants training camp. Let me know what you guys think was the most interesting part so far in this week of training camp as we wrap things up, get ready for the second week. I'm not sure if they have practice tomorrow. I'll have to check the uh, schedule for that, but that wraps things up for the first week of training camp. Let me know thoughts in the comment section below, guys. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll see you guys in the next video.